Hello, my name's John Pelfrey. Welcome to the first of our series of webinars that we're conducting this year in relation to the range of our water heating systems at Thermal Energy Solutions. I'd like to begin this webinar before we look at the product specifically that we're going to talk about today being solar PV and the conversion of PV energy yield into hot water. I'd like to introduce you to what we refer here to uh, at TESS as the web of energy. The central point to the web of energy is our Enamax Smart Cube tank, which allows variable uh, inputs of energy into the tank uh, to provide uh, heat transfer into unpressurized water and via stainless steel coil sets delivering fresh hygienic water downstream to fixtures either in residential, commercial or industrial applications. Today's webinar is going to focus on the use of solar PV and how the introduction of this energy type into our Enamax Smart Cube tank can provide enormous advantages not only in regards to sustainability and energy consumption, but also to off-grid power supply. And the item that I'd like to introduce you to today that you can see here on the screen is our MyPV Power Coach. So at Thermal Energy Solutions, a number of systems that we're going to introduce you to this year through this series of webinars, um, today focusing um, particularly on the ROSC20 and also the AC Thor power management system. But firstly to the power coach. I'd like to show you very basic um, format here of the power coach and how that assists people, either um, end users or uh, industry people um, in the, the plumbing, electrical, solar PV, uh, building industry, um, to use this device or this tool to extrapolate data relative to the application that they're looking at at the time. Very simply, the decision then based on the type of system that's available. In this case, the example we're going to use is hot water from PV using our power manager and our Enamax Smart Cube tank. We choose a location and then start to input the variables based on what the dwelling's requirements can be. Living space, kilowatts per year, looking at all the, the inputs here that can determine uh, at a quick glance the advantages and the energy consumption uh, yields that can be gained from our um, uh, uh, ROSC20 system, our, our PV system, creating that energy yield into a vertical heating element into our Enamax Smart Cube tank. The energy chart that we have available, the variables on that determine the the type of system, so you can see there top left hand corner, the standard PV system uh, with high optimization potential, working through to our, our power manager and our Enamax tank, and then finally um, space heating options as well. Because through our Enamax Smart Cube tank, we have the ability to serve um, various uh, services, including obviously domestic water heating, either on a dead leg or a fly and return system. Um, floor coil or radiator panel heating, and also pool and spa heating as well. You'll need to consider additional energy inputs, whether it be natural or LP gas, or heat pump systems or electrified plant to be used in conjunction typically with solar PV. The solar PV with this particular water heating system can be designated just for connection directly to our, our um, uh, Enamax Smart Cube tank, or alternatively, um, excess solar PV can be managed via our AC Thor control um, module or control manager to determine when excess yield is available instead of that excess yield going back into the grid, which um, is less beneficial uh, to actually creating a thermal storage battery. So that excess yield can now be stored into the Enamax Smart Cube tank, only losing about uh, 1.4 kilowatts over 24 hours, meaning that whatever yields being made available, the thermal storage can provide massive financial and sustainability advantages for um, a residential dwelling, 
commercial application for water heating purposes as we discussed. Looking further through the power coach, again, feed-in tariff um, options, electrical rates, variables that, that can be input uh, into this particular tool. Again, to provide the, the end user with the opportunity to, to simply learn more in relation to what the thermal energy solution, uh, my PV range of, of solar um, systems that we have available and what advantages and benefits can be gained from that. The power coach then has the capacity to provide a report relative to the particular variables uh, that have been uh, put in uh, regarding the, the application. You can see there the annual PV um, yield profile, um, uh, also to split up into a pie chart with the total energy consumption annually that's available. So in regards to self-utilization and self-consumption combined with the advantages of the um, thermal energy solution smart cube tank really being able to dovetail the both um, options of solar pv off-grid energy yield um, and converting that into a fresh water or thermal battery station which is the the um, uh, thermal energy solution um, in a max smart cube tank so if you're looking into this product type or you've heard about it throughout the industry, please go to the Thermal Energy Solution website, um, have a look at the, the MyPV Power Coach, and then from that, please contact us at Thermal Energy Solutions. We have offices throughout Australia. Our head office is, is in Sydney, and we have people waiting for your call in regards to being able to discuss with you um, what options can be available, or what information you've gleaned from the use of the, of the Power Coach tool. Thank you very much for your time today. At Thermal Energy Solutions, we're looking forward to delivering these webinar series um, throughout this year on other um, energy sources that we have available through the web of energy. But thank you for your time today. I hope you've enjoyed this very brief introduction to how we can convert energy yield from solar PV directly into our smart cube tank. We look forward to seeing you at the next webinar. Thanks for your time today. Bye for now.